So this is, I believe, a uh, film from 2018. We're gonna go get the photos, the, the disposable camera phone. You remember from when I went, right before we went to Thailand? Wait, I'll explain. But first, today's a very Patreon day, actually. I had to get my book club done and shared, which was about limiting beliefs. Our coaching call was all about them, and he gave us a really helpful framework for approaching them and figuring out how to identify them, and hopefully gain some direction from them in what to do from there. But it tied in a little bit to the book that I'm struggling through, uh, predictably irrational. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of camp out for a minute and get some work done that I keep saying I'm gonna get done and I keep not getting done, and then we're gonna go get these photos because, like, I'm really excited. I don't. I think they're from like 2018. I have no idea. Oh yeah, I have to explain if you weren't following along what 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 these photos actually are. All right, so in my drawer of surprises, and this this thing's actually just mostly like old video equipment, including a VHS to DVD converter, which is not meant to go to DVD. It's anyways. I have two left, and they are they, they expire in 2013. <laughs> they expired 11 years ago. But so far, they've produced some really good results. I got these from Christian at the Peloton back when he didn't know what to do with them. And I, I didn't either. I just took them because I was like, you know, this could be fun. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them exactly. This one's leaking from inside. That's a bad sign, I think. It was just fun to carry them around and use them and take photos and include them in my vlogs. I decided, you know what? Like, why don't I take these and share them with my patrons? I, I can turn them into postcards, into prints. They just pop up. I have a whole bunch of old prints and so forth. All the way up to disposable camera number seven now. This is the most recent one. I just started this one this summer while we were traveling in the UK. The whole idea being that it's just really fun to do something analog and physical and like tactile, you know? Like, I really love that sound. It, this, these are really simple, cheap, easy, no frills cameras that, you know, probably belong in a museum somewhere. And there's something just kind of fun and satisfying, especially because you have no idea what you're gonna get out of it. Like for one, you don't even know if the film's gonna work. For two, what were the shots that you're taking? Like I'm usually taking them through a different camera. Like I'm not even actually looking through it properly when I take the photo. So you just kind of get what you get. And it's surprising. Some of the fun stuff you get out of it. Let me see if I can actually find a couple old ones. Pretty sure up here. We're gonna have, we're not gonna, we're not gonna get distracted. There's too much, too much good stuff in here. G clay prints from Into the Nanton. They're beautiful. Sorry, I said we weren't gonna get distracted. Uh, here we go. Oh yeah. So these are back from when Lomography was still in business. The place that I used to go to get these developed, unfortunately went out of business. I have the negatives, which is really fun. Came with these little handy guidelines. And these are just like the tiny little prints. Like there's the canal, there's the opera. I love this shot. This is an oldie. This is a classic. Wow, when did we, when did we develop these? Oh man, it doesn't say anywhere. It's really cool to see this. Another Eiffel Tower shot where you could see the whole thing. The view from my window here, long time ago. Look at this, Notre Dame with a spire. That's a photo I took on film. So these go back, you know, however long ago that happened, 2019. And my thumb in the photo, that happens unfortunately more often than I'd like to admit. It's just a really fun way of capturing life as you're going. I'd forget to do it for long periods of time. Sometimes I'd be all about it. And sometimes I would just forget for months. And so what I would do is I would turn these into a couple different things. I'd make them into digital wallpapers for all my patrons, easy enough. And then for my print club and postcard club patrons, I would turn them into postcards and prints. Print club members get both postcards and prints. So you, you kind of get the best of both worlds. And it's just a really fun way of kind of bringing, I don't know, like the touch of the physical, right? Like so much of this is digital. It doesn't always feel tangible. So to have something really truly tangible that was taken with a physical camera on film, developed and then shared that way, just feels kind of like, I don't know, anti-Instagram in a way. So I would take the odd numbered ones, like number seven here, and develop them myself. But the even numbered ones I used to send to patrons. Like I would just kind of hold a giveaway and send it and let them do with it what they will. And number two was given to a patron of mine named Ethan, who's still around, a long time patron. Thank you, Ethan. And things kind of came up in life. He didn't get around to doing it. I think he might've forgotten about it for a while. In the end, he found it again and was like, you know what, I, I wanna send this back to Jay and see what happens. So he sent camera number two back to me and that's what we dropped off right before I went to Thailand. I needed a new place to develop my film because the old one went out of business. Trying a new spot, dropped it off. They said it'd be done in a couple days, but I've been gone. So today's the day we go get number two back and uh, I have an idea 
for a photo we can add to number seven, just to, just as a demonstration of how this works, if you've never seen it before. Anyways, my friend Isga is in town and she hasn't been to Paris in like a decade. She said she wanted to do some of the cliche stuff, but then she wanted to do some of the J stuff. And J stuff today includes running errands. So I'm gonna meet her at a very iconic photo location for this photo idea. But then we're gonna get out of here and then we'll see what we got out of number two. Assuming that they successfully developed it, you get the first look at it today, at least a couple samples. And then I'm gonna put everything on Patreon shortly. Ready to go, buddy? avoir de 60 centimes pour la prochaine fois. Oh, excellent, ok. One of, one of them didn't turn out. I don't know which one, because I have no idea what's in this bag. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna go find out <laughs> right now. Bangkok is awesome. Have you ever been? Uh, yes, I know. I have been physically. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, exactly. Um, assemblage, a blend of um, Chenin, Chardonnay, Gros Lot, and uh, a maceration with Cabernet Franc. Okay. So it's a, a beautiful, rich uh, pet. You drink without choosing? Uh, I'm sorry. Where do you come from? <laughs> what is this? Cheers. Oh, yeah. Perfect. He's always aware of the cameras. This, guy. this guy's also, this guy's amazing. Um, so I just wanted to open them on camera because once I've opened them here, I've got, oh man, this is cool. Um, <laughs> once I've opened them here, then the plan is I'm gonna turn them into postcards for patrons of my postcard club. Everybody in the print club will get an original. And then I'll make digital wallpapers for the rest of my patrons. And that's it. And so I thought it'd be fun to share it here with you guys. My favorite Scottish bartender and my favorite Turkish film star. <laughs> <laughs> This is a horrible photo. So we were just we were just <laughs> doing introductions. If you don't know Craig, he runs the Dee's Wheat. And uh, if you've never been to the Dee's Wheat for natural wine, you've missed out. Live jazz nights on Wednesdays. These are so horrible. These are definitely, okay. So <laughs> the, the interesting yeah, yeah. thing is like these are definitely, these ones have, are showing the age because these cameras expired in 2013. Oh, okay. And this, this pan au chocolat <laughs> photo is very clearly demonstrating <laughs> that this is the least appealing pan au chocolat photo I've <laughs> ever seen. This one's kind of cool though. Oh, that's good. The rotonde at uh, Strasbourg, or um, Jaurès, yeah, Stalingrad. And then, what is that? That is, is that? It's a fountain. Here in, it looks like it's here in Paris. Okay, that's a mystery. If you know what that one is, put it in the comments. This is, Vic is that Victor Hugo? This one I think is on the way out to Versailles. That's just a shot off the RERC at, at like terrible, yeah, that's horrible. A, it's a canal. Here's my thumb uh, at these Invalides. Yeah. Uh, Notre Dame with a spire. Yeah, this is going back. Yeah, going before, the before, before the fire. Before the fire. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Before the fire. Historical. It's from it's the park in the back. Yeah, that yeah, is, yeah, that's history. Limited, limited edition. This is from Pan Am, I'm guessing. Nice, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the, the canal at Pan Am. Beautiful, with the beautiful sunset photo. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what that is. It looks like, it looks like a, <laughs> it looks like something that goes in your pocket, no? It does look like something that goes in your pocket. Soon, <laughs> very, very soon. This is Versailles as well. That's the Queen's Hamlet. Yeah. Okay. This is only God knows. That is by night. That got to, yeah, that is by, very by night. Finger on camera. I'm guessing this is the Market at Bastille. Yeah? Uh, yeah, looks like it. Maybe, yeah. okay. A street in the second or third, I'm guessing. Yeah. Probably the second. Uh, oh no, it's um, beside uh, Les Adelaide. Okay, so it's in the first or the second. And then this looks like Père Lachaise. Yep, sure. Look at this guy verifying everything so quickly. <laughs> and then uh, Sacré-Cœur nice. with a little bit of pink on the side there. There you go. These are fun. The Pan au chocolat uh, photo should <laughs> never be seen again <laughs> aside from that. I like with all the grain, it yeah. actually looks very, almost like a horror movie. Horrible. <laughs> if I send this to anybody, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I can't promise I won't. Does anybody want this one? It's leave, unknown too. Leave a comment like, if you want the horrible pan au chocolat. If you, if you can locate this one, let us know in the comments. If you want the pan au chocolat one, I will send that <laughs> no, one. The chocolatine the chocolate <laughs> one. I don't know, some of these are disturbing. The pink, the pink is like half the time it's Not cool. Not disturbing, but half the time it's gross. With the whole yellow pink color. You like it? 
but these are dark. Literally dark. Very dark. <laughs> very dark. Yeah, it doesn't do well at uh, uh, late exposure. That's good to keep dramatic. in mind. Yeah, very dramatic. Next. That's a bad curse. That is a bad curse. <laughs> 